All right, guys, we're playing some Nafiri top lane. We're playing Nafiri into a Wukong. And what we have is Arcan Comet, a Metafloat, Transcendent Scorch. We're also running Biscuits, and we're also running Cosmic. Now, this game, I'm uh, planning on going with an AoE build. And every single Q that I'm going to pop on my opponent is going to be doing a lot of damage. So basically, every time I hit my Q, it's going to proc the Arcan Comet. Which means that my all-in is slightly worse. But my abilities, especially poking, is going to be better. And as, if I build into Hydra, we're going to have a lot of burst. Check this out. we level two already. Popping my biscuits. Ooh, he's going for the all-in. Kind of troll it though. Like my, uh, not my first Q, but my second Q did not apply on him. Either way, like, I ignited him, so he was going to die anyways. It wasn't really close, though, because I believe it must have been, like, the last Ignite tick. I suspect. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, so, first things first, what we're going to do is we just simply build, like, two longswords. Going to upgrade that into Warhammer. There you go. And um, we're going to try and prioritize Warhammer and then into hopefully Pickaxe on the next pack. We'll see if we can. The thing is, like when you're buying Hydra, and this is what some people often don't think about, is um, when you're trying to build towards items like this that uses Pickaxe, like the value is 875. And this is not really a value that you can buy very easily sometimes. It really depends on how lane's going. But if you can't afford it and get the 875, it's always worth going pickaxe. So we're going to see if we can uh, prioritize that now. Usually on the set, on, on the first back, so you go back for the first time, you can make that happen easily. This might turn into a kill, maybe. Nah, never mind. He's very low though, so we're just gonna freeze the wave now. Perfect. We just kind of hold it like this. Shay goes around topside, but he's getting wrecked by my own jungler, so no need to help there. I also don't want to leave the base because like it's bouncing my direction. You want to keep it like this. Ooh, we didn't get that one. Also, then I say you want to drop my Q down through the whole wave, so I'm glad I only dropped like one down. And just accept it. Should be back any second right now. He was very low before, so he had to back all the way. So we got to deny him like a full wave. Could try and tank it, but I uh, I'm not gonna do that. It's not really worth. Hey Teach, thank you for sub gifting, man. Thank you so much, Teach. Okay, let's see if we can put into a slow push. That's why we could be snowballing the rest of the lane. Oh, he's walking back. All right. That's interesting. This is a bit of a risk I'm taking right now. Mm. Hope that we can catch him. Yeah, let's go. I was kind of scared because there might be a possibility where he could have, like, uh, W'd away. But I believe it was still in cooldown for at least another minute. Nice. We can get like one plate. Maybe we can take the plate and then take the wave as well. Hold up. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. Gotta get back though. He's already came back as well. Okay, let's get uh, a Warhammer. We're gonna go into a pickaxe. Nice. Let's go for a uh, revealable. Oh man, teacher, 
sending like one sub gift then also temp coming five sub gifts hey thank you so much guys for all the sub gifts i really appreciate that man thank you so much guys you guys are always coming in to like make the most happy day ever man thank you so much for all these sub gifts guys No, the wave is like bouncing my direction. We're level seven. He is level five at the moment, so there's a pretty, uh, pretty big XP gap. If that makes sense. Oh, did I accidentally? I don't recall hitting my W in the wave. No idea what happened right there, actually. Nice. We're getting ganked by Shaco right now. Oh, I got cancelled. <laughs> That's not according to the plan. Will that be enough, though? It's not. Maybe we can dive. Let's ask the ping around. Maybe he can stay around. Just dive to Wukong. A lot better like this. If, uh, if he needs to fall back and lose the whole wave, then my lead's going to grow even more. So we could be putting points in my W, but I think I'm just going to not do that. Good. Yeah, let's get back. I would like to stay for more, but it's not like an, uh, a really smart idea, right? Go for Tiamat, we'll take the longsword. Let's make it back. Would actually be very appreciated if we could maybe get another TF gank at some point. Who knows? I love when people play TF mid because he can rotate very easily with ult. Wave is bouncing my direction. So the difference between me and him is that I'm level 8 already. And this guy is currently on level 6. So there's like a 2 level diff. Which means that no matter how I play it. I should be able to win right now. Despite, you know, having Wukong having like an insane like all in here. I hope he's going to go for the Wu. Yes, he's doing it. Okay, sure. I got Tiamat, so I can basically perma shove into him right now. I can keep dropping Qs in him permanently at all stages. Oh, nice. I want to see if I can maybe, uh, maybe go for a dive. Yeah, there you go. That was nice. I have to be very careful because I suspect that Wukong must have probably had um, had his ultimate. So I had to like sort of like burst him before he could, you know, before he could use it. Again, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe he had ultimate. I believe he did. Ooh, what's that one? I think I might just back here. I could be, uh, I could stay around try and get the plating but at the same time if i were to do that um i would draw myself into a bad position because i wouldn't be able to back and buy items so it would be a really really bad overstay it's not really uh isn't really worth it it's better like the majority of the time if um if you're playing and you're having a lot of gold and you just killed your opponent, it's better to not overstay ever. It's better to buy items that come back stronger. Now you'll see, like, we have the entire Hydra already. This guy's running Steel Cast at Longsword, so he's like, he's like a long road away from getting his first item. And we're already scaling with Hydra stacks. There seems to be a Shaco top. Oh, these people are overstaying, bro. <laughs> Wait, I don't even think I have to cast my own. Oh, 
Um, well, this isn't so bad. Hmm. Very well then. Uh, we can get some plates, maybe. Oh, he's trying to dive. It's a bad idea, though. Glad he's not doing it. Well, we uh, we at least got what we were looking for. Now it's a good time to go back top lane. We're gonna take that wave. I think I might even go for, um, maybe for the tower, but not entirely sure. Yeah, let's push it in this next one. Yeah, we could be uh, we could be fighting Wukong here. Hold on a second. We have uh, 33 stacks on my Hydra, so we're the strongest we can be. Gotta wait for my Qs now. First, we gotta chuck them down just a little bit more. Hmm. It's a bit of a risk I'm taking. Ooh. All right, went according to the plan. Grab tower. I think I might just uh, I might just take like one more wave, and then we just back off afterwards. Yeah, there you go. Two point five k. Well, we actually got two point six. Um, next item that I that I'm gonna buy is gonna be eclipse. We're very close to eclipse already, by the way. might yeah buy that and i'm just gonna swap like longsword let's grab another one let's see it's got a warhammer steel caps the fun thing is i already have hydra warhammer lethality deep blade longsword tier one boots <laughs> there's a big item difference here look at the look at the item gap here <laughs> I, I nearly have my next item already Look how close I am. Look at this. It's not even close to his item. <laughs> I'm just trying to hit like two Qs. Good. Again on our tower. Maybe whoever goes top lane, I can kill that person as well. But definitely staying towards mid lane as we can expand our lead by rotating. Oh, does that TF play top lane? Would be nice to have a die. Um, I, I'm scared to dive him. It's Wukong at the end of the day. It's a bit scary thought. Well, maybe we can catch this guy up here, maybe? Oh. That's Flash. I don't care, man. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Oh, I think maybe we can... Oh, I took the right one. I was actually kind of scared I might not, you know, just the right one. I wasn't entirely sure. I had a good feeling it was that one. Nice. Yeah, let's just go back to base. I'm, I'm going to be buying Eclipse right now. Good. Uh, Lucidity Boots. Let's go. Um, the next thing I'm going to buy afterwards, I'm thinking towards the direction of... I like the idea of actually going Prowler Claw. But... 
yeah, I think we can go Prowler Claw. Hmm. I like the idea of Prowler Claw. Oh. That guy's gone. No idea where the other guy went, but I'm assuming... He's not gonna cancel the backboard. No, I kind of wasted my ultimate, but whatever, man. It's fine. Hey. Maybe he's gonna move up. Get inside the circle. Oh, I missed all my abilities. Maybe I can turn. But first I need to get back to full HP. And uh... There's like three people missing at the moment. Oh, I missed all my abilities. Fantastic. Okay. Nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm lucky. Didn't get wrecked today. It could be a Shaco, so... Oh, there he is. <laughs> I got wrecked anyways by Shaco, even when I mention him. It's fine. Yeah, let's go for the Prowler Claw. Let's go ahead and build it. I think I might just go for Warhammer first, so I can have a bit of CDR. I need like 50 for Lethality, bro. I'm spawning in 20 seconds, so maybe I can buy it. <laughs> Okay, next objective is gonna be Herald. We have like one minute. Yep, I can buy it. Nice. Okay, let's go. Uh, my teammate should be able to win. Of course, like I'm the most fed in this game, but I think that my teammates, well, they're not necessarily that much stronger. I'll clean them up if they go in. Oh, are you serious? Uh, we're not getting anything. Yeah, we're not getting anything. Double. I need to go back top lane before it gets like. Ah, they want to go Baron. Okay. Mm, I don't know. They have two people. Shaco can steal it. Oh, I'm wrong here. That's the clone. I need someone to tank it for me. Wow. He's just sort of into. <clears throat> well, someone's about to die. Yep. Uh, I need to go back top lane. Nice. After the next wave that we get, uh, we got to make sure that we get back and actually buy the Prolic Law. And maybe we can also take power before we really go back. It's not that far away. Like two autos. There you go. Let's get the Prolic Law. 
Uh, next item I buy is probably gonna be Grudge. I just wanna... Um, I want the most armor pen slash... Slash, like, ability haste. As much as I can get. And, like, towards the final item. Not exactly sure. I think it's gonna be Grudge into... Uh, maybe a Shoujin. Maybe. Again, I'm not not really too sure about it. Because last item is very experimental. You can just you can just build whatever you want with this build at the end. Hmm. Thank you. Next one. Nice. Um, we can take... Oh, okay, got wrecked already. I'm gonna take the wave up here and then take tower. And then maybe take dragon. The fun thing is once you're just fed on the fury, you can just take the whole map over. I think he might live. Yeah. I was pretty sure second Q is not going to apply. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we got straight up CC'd by Yasu immediately. No chance to move. Alright. I'll sell um I'll sell my T-Blade. Hmm. Oh, this is Shaco up here, it's not gonna work anyways. I need two hundred. Less than two hundred. I want to showcase you guys my damage after we gain Grudge, because that's where the real fun is. We already have the core build, because we're running, you know, the Prowler Claw and then all of the other items. So as you can see, we already have a lot of burst if we use the Prowler Claw on the, on the right target. Um, but if we can buy Grudge, we're also going to do a lot of damage specifically on Alistar and a few others. Those that are really tanky. If I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure if I hit my W on the Osser right now, we're gonna do a lot of damage, but he does have a Chains Vest. So if I go Grudge, I can counter it. Let's see where Gragas will show. If he shows in top, I'm gonna move top. Okay, so he's, he's showing up in top here. Let's go. This guy will never be able to get out. Yep. Got him. In the meantime, my teammates are taking care of the team fighting jungle. And we have got a TF ult. Is there a blue? Nope, no blue. Seems like all of it has been taken. The Baron will spawn in 1 minute 5. I'm gonna shake us right on our back here. I don't think Wukong's gonna try and fight me. He's testing me out. Wait a second. Nice damage. We're almost back to 40 stacks on the high jump. We didn't have the 40 stacks anymore. Oh, nice one.
double. <laughs> yeah, I love how we're just like sort of like assassinating these people. <laughs> Got him hip. Uh, there's one more thing that we need. We have 2.9k. Yeah, that's try. I saw it happening. Uh, it's not really gonna work. Mm, maybe it's turnable. Yep. Oh, actually. Oh, he knocked me across. That's the best thing that he could have done. He made a serious mistake by doing that. Like, I was actually not fine. He knocked me across and I was fine again. Ah, oh, too bad, man. 3.7k, though. So we're going to go for this one. Um, I think that the... Um, Last item that I'll buy was thinking about going for Guardian's Angel. But I'm also thinking maybe we can go for Edge of the Night. I really like both choices, but I'm uh, I'm thinking more towards the direction of going for a Guardian's Angel, actually. Because then I get AD in armor with the, the effect. I like that more. It's a bit of a more safe, uh, safe pick right here. <clears throat> Guardian's Angel right here is perfect. Like, now I can all in, then I can die, get back up in case I die. And then I'll have my team cl uh, clean it up. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not expecting to have a bad time anymore. Like, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna die anymore. I don't think they will focus me down if I have Guardian's Angel. Oh, here we go, I guess. I'm on my way. Yep. Well, that's the fake one anyways. Oh uh, yeah, the Shaco just ran off. I have no idea where. 19 kills so far. Not bad. They're dead for 25. Yeah, I guess the game is going to end right here. I didn't hit it. No, game over. Hey, either way, this is Nefury Top. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.